What up, gamers? You already know who it is, so we're gonna hop right into it, man. We're gonna do this Uncharted Land on hard mode because a lot of y'all been complaining, and this is before the nerf. This is before the devs made it easy for y'all complainers. All right, so these are my artifacts. I, you know, I already went through easy. I went for to take y'all through easy. Y'all know I don't like making long videos. Of course, I got my heal. So the important artifacts for me is you need some way to heal, all right? Got to have a way for your team to survive. Got to increase skill by about 5%. Some of these I just picked up because I didn't really have nothing better to pick up. Like like this right here, increase attack, increase HP. It was like it was like the best thing available, right? But yeah, man. So we we gon' we gonna go through this. I'm tired, y'all complaining, man. The devs done made this thing. They done nerfed it like two times, and y'all still can't get it right. So yeah, just stop asking for help, man. How about y'all get better? How about y'all stop complaining and get better? So for me personally, I like to look at the tanks, all right? Because if I can't get past the tanks, I can't get to the back line. I don't I don't have the heroes to hit the back line. So I see they got the 140, and I see Ice Nail. He has he has a Kustos, and then he has a 140, uh, whatever the, the hero name is. But uh, I don't really feel like dealing with a Kustos, even though it's just level 100. I don't really feel like dealing with it, cause you know that's the best that for taking the game. So for I think so once I once I look at the tanks, then I go to the back line. So I think I'm gonna take down Unclaimed Pair because he does have a Kimberly, but the Kimberly is like the first up on the, on the back line, right? And then his next highest level is actually a support hero. And then he has another support hero, so actually he might have three. And I forgot, I'm gonna have to take care of that. My notifications are still on. Uh, hey, hey, your boy's not professional, but yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna go an unclaimed pair. And this is this is what I'm working with right now for the time being. I'm gonna get better as it goes on. But I I, I might not even make it through this, right? But uh, I ain't gonna have y'all watch this. I think it's a pretty easy victory compared to what I got. Yeah, those are the results. And that's the first one down. So, like I said, for my strategy, I like to look at the tanks and see are they gonna be difficult to deal with. And then I see who's the most damage dealing person on the back line to see if I can deal with them. So for this one, I see Overlord X is missing somebody, and usually I go at their neck. I don't really fight taking on a 160 tank, right? And then a 140 Kimberly. So, um, this so Corridor, I know he he's a he's a tank killer. But I'm gonna go ahead and take him on because I feel like that that's the weakest team there. Cause I already the tanks. And then you know usually Corridor is your highest damage, and I'm not worried about it. Pick up more here, like I say, I need my team to be able to sustain. Y'all saw my Kustos took some damage, and like I said, same thing for here. I take a look at the tanks. And there's really nobody threatening me here, so I can just literally take on any one of them. And I, so in that situation, I take a look at the creatures. Creatures are not too high, cause creatures can be deadly. You know, there's some people got some like some level 20s out there. But for this one, I just take on anybody and get the easy dub and keep on going. So when, when my team come, I know what's powerful for me. Like right here, I'm looking at the um, the Phantom, cause he's missing somebody. But I'm also looking at the tanks. 140, 140. And with his setup, not only is he down a person, but look at it, he's like he's like all tanked out, right? Like what what threat do you have here as far as damage? So not only are you down a person, but you have like no threats here. So it's just an easy dub. I'm gonna go ahead and run through him. Because um what's the name? Emos? I find, I don't remember that character's name. He's not a tank, he's actually a warrior, so I know he can deal damage, but the rest of his team are like straight up tanks, like or maybe like a support role tank, and it's just, it's just not threatening at all, right? So, easy dub, all right? And so far for me, it just really ain't been no challenge. And like I said, this is before the patch. So off rip, everybody has 140 tanks. So, and, and it, after, after I see that everyone has a 140 tank, I either look at who the tanks are, like I see this guy has a um, level 140 Titan, and Titan is a pretty good fire tank, the best fire tank, if you ask me, Ashley. But, once I, once I see that the tanks are pretty much even, I go on to who's their damage to Martina, I'm not afraid of him. And this guy has a Sengori at 140, I'm not afraid of him either. So I'm not even worried about the third guy. I just, you no know, one or two, I can take either one of them down. So I just pick one, and then we don't have to watch it. We can go ahead and skip through it, because I'm not worried about taking, like, a lot of damage. Plus, I got, like, I already got the extra 10% heal. And same thing here, take a look at the tanks. 140, I see the third guy has a 140. So again, after noticing that, I go ahead and look at who their damage dealers are. I pretty much know most of the damage dealers in the game. Like, if you haven't seen my... Look at this guy. This is what I'm talking about. He got the brothers in arms, and he, he forcing it, bro. Like, stop forcing synergy. You have a cancel. Well, it is, but even though it's um, a ranked up Kanto, he's still level one. And then freeze that for 
Got him to that five at level 100. So he's stuck at 100. And then the birdies. I like birdies. Birdies at 140. But stop forcing synergy, bro. Like, you're not. But I'm not. I'm not going to take on no level 26 creature. I believe I can run through his team. But I'm not even going to take the chance of getting hit by a level 26 creature. But stop forcing synergy, bro. Like, that's. Like, your team is not that strong when you, when you got to force it. But this guy right here. He, he does have an email, but the problem with that is that his most damage dealing person is on the front line. Like, like, what? What's the strategy there? Put you put your most damage, your um, you know, your highest, maybe not highest damage dealer because he's on the hundred, but the most potential highest damage dealer you have is on the front line. So we are gonna watch it, and I'm just gonna like run through the problem in like one or two hits. And I, I see like a lot of setups like that, like. Why are you putting your, your damage dealers on the front? Like, like he didn't even get a chance to attack and, or do any damage. And usually, I think y'all know how I try to land works. So after you, like, do a battle, whatever rage you have, you carry over to the next round. And that's why, like, my creature in attack, because I guess you can call that its rage skill as well. So his rage was built up from the last round, so it came automatically with the attacks. And then I was able to, like, literally clear him in, like, two or three hits. And yeah, what I, I should have went on and took on that guy who had the who, who forced his synergy. Cause I'm pretty sure I'd have wiped out his team before his creature even got the chance to attack. But you know, stop forcing synergy, bro. Like use what you have and make the best of it. Stop for, brothers in arms. Are, it's just not that great at at early levels of the game. Like what what are you putting thirty percent on? But let me get to this battle. So this guy, the third guy, he has like hell of tanks. Like what's going on in here? Like, his whole team are tanks, so we, we're definitely, like, I'm not even worried about anybody else. Like, we're just going to run through the tanks, right? Like I said, so the rage was built up from the last round, which is why my creature attacked. And then, as you can see, some of my heroes are coming off rip with their skills. But I see teams like this as well. And like I said, this is before the nerf. This is before the nerf. I, I, I see it all the time in the updated patches. They're like, well, they make an uncharted land easier, hard mode a little easier. Because y'all was just complaining, bro. Like, when I, when I be in chat, and, you know, some of y'all be mentioning me and you ask me questions and things like that, bro, just stop complaining about it. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Maybe you're making the wrong choices, or maybe your team is just not up to par. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not having that much, to, you know. All right, I'm just. I can't talk about y'all because, you know, I don't, I don't know what y'all doing. But this, as far as how I'm doing it, I'm going to go with this one right here. I think it's, you know, the, the most stats. I don't see anything I really like. But I'm not having that much trouble. My team is not the greatest. And uh, so I'm just, I'm just putting out my strategy, man. I don't I really know what everybody else is going through. All right. So, again, for my strategy, I checked the takes and I checked the damage. The other Ventus car, whatever the name is, I'm not worried about her. So I'm gonna go ahead and well, I'm not I'm not gonna put y'all through all the battles. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. This is easy though. My team is still holding up pretty nice. Like I said, one of the most important artifacts for me is to make sure that they are able to heal. All right, because um my Sylvester, hold on. So 140, 140, a lot of 140s, and then Black Lily at 140. I know, I know what a Black Lily can do. Uh, Riley, look at this. He has a level 140 Riley. I'm not I'm not worried about a, a level 140 Riley, right? So. Like I said, I know, I know majority of the characters, so I don't really see any threats here. I'm just going to go ahead and run through them. But even people in my guild, they have asked, like, what do you do to get past them trying to land? Because, you know, they got the uh, they got the event, right? And again, here I'm just picking the, the most stats. Like, <laughs> nothing there really appeased me. But um, they asked, like, how, how do you get past Uncharted land? It's like, like, <laughs> somebody, even somebody else in my guild said, just run through it. Like, hey, <laughs> what do you <laughs> What are you having problems with, right? I said, get two teams. Like, if your first team don't make it, then use your second team. Hold on, I got to make a decision here. So, got the uh, 140s, a couple 100s. It's starting to get a little difficult here. At least they're starting to, you know, buff up the, the power level here. But I still don't think it's nothing too too significant for me to worry about. And I'm going to try to get through it when, I, when I'm, at, I'm at 11. Yeah, so I, I believe I can take some chances here. And if I need to, I can pop some potions, right? But... Yeah, hey, I might be able to make it through this thing without potions. And like I said, this is before, before they nerf it, before they make it easier. So if this is, I don't know, it's working for me. So it, it's working easily, as you can see, or apparently, you know. But I know, I know what my team cup is. I kind of know my team cup weaknesses, and I know we can't get to the back line. So that's why it's important for me to see what the takes are. So you see the 140s, the 160s. 
140 Savannah to 100 Kentos. Not worried about Dana Martino. I'm literally not worried about Martino at all. Then uh, level 100 Bernard in like, what's this, uh, round 12? So let's see what we got here. Like I said, Titan, Titan is the best. Um, for a well. <laughs> that was a bad show from Titan. He just literally got wiped out. But like, like I said, I know, I know my weaknesses, bro. I have to get past the takes. So that's why I you know check out the tapes because i got i got focus dealers and my focus dealers are my most powerful hitters and even my uh so like if i had heroes that can get to the back line i probably focus more on the back line but i can't waste time on the tapes because my heroes do most of their damages to the tapes so that's why i'm like what do they have on the front line and what is there on the back line because if i can't get to the back line fast enough they might do too much damage to me so i need to be able to just run through them right as i did there with titan and I think this is the last one, right? Round 12. So the same thing. I'm going to check the takes. And then I'm going to see what the takes have behind them. Whether they're protected. And like I said, this is how I make my decisions. So maybe you guys have a comp that can get to the back line. So instead of worrying about the takes, you're going to worry about what's on the back line. What you can take down first. Can you take out that damage to those first? As you can see, like level 160 chain. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still checking out what my heroes have to go through you know debate on how quickly they can go through them and this guy also has a um a robin on his team and it's like like i when i when i did my video and i went over all the heroes y'all saw i skipped all the nat 4 light monsters or light heroes because i think all the nat 4 light heroes are trash like if you you're gonna have to get a, a level 5 or nat 5 ld there there's a couple of dark ones that i support but there are I don't support any Nat 4 or Nat 3 light hero. They're all too weak to me. Maybe something that they else can work on, but you need, you need, you need Nat 5s. You need Nat 5s if you go on light. Then like I said, running through this guy. Like I said his front line was through before round three. This is round two. And then I actually forgot that guy had a heal. So he's not Kuso's not the only one that has a revive who's on the front line. There's a couple of uh, damage shooters that have a second life, so to speak, as well. And then that's it. I can buy it. Also, don't believe in. I don't think that four thousand is worth the the net four. I mean, the net fives they give. This is a net four. That's a five star. So I don't think that the four thousand is worth the. F <laughs> Let me get my wrist right. I don't think that the five stars are worth the four thousand coins that it take. Now again, I'm a free to play player. And I can't get them coins like that. I will always, always, I'm always taking the net four. I, I will always take the net four. Why? Because that's how I make my five stars. I'm a free to play player. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta grind for mine. But if y'all got those resources, maybe it's worth it to you. But me, me, we talking about me. As a free to play player, I can't afford that. Look at, I, I got, I'm barely at 2,000, bro. Like, the, and then the, the chances of a, a, um, a five star, the, the one five star, that might be worth it or that I need, the chances of it actually being there, especially when I have 4,000 are low. Like, cause I, ha I really haven't seen not one that I wanted. Not one. The Dodo, he's, he's cool, but I got I got a Nat 4. I get another Nat 4 of them and make them a 5 star myself. I ain't gonna drop 4,000 on them. Like, it'll, it'll have to be like a some type of light and dark hero that's worth it. Like, one of the Nat 5s is overpowering. And again, I'm just going through what I have here. Let's show y'all that I ain't got like no no amazing artifacts, right? I think that, like I said, the heal, the heals, that's very important to me. The skill bar is okay. So, well, skill bar is actually okay. Skill bar, if you can get it high, it's actually pretty significant. Because if you can just alt, 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 especially for some of the heroes that got the battery, they can battery up their rage and just keep going. Hey, skills and heals. Skills and heals win the game. A little bit of damage reduction and you get to go. So I, I beat it. And I didn't even use any, what's, what is the inventory? I didn't use no potions, like none of them. Just stacking up, none of them. If I need them, they're there. But I beat it without using potions. And my artifacts, my, my, my team is not even that great, bro. So like, what does everybody complain about? Some of y'all got way better teams than me. I'm out here struggling. Y'all see my summons. All right, but stop complaining, bro. And I'm out.